What's up guys, this is Dan with the Bullish Bears team. Gonna do a video today on interactive brokers options tutorial. So this is really gonna be a video to show you guys how to trade options with interactive brokers. It's not really the only way to do it. There's lots of different ways to trade it. I'm just gonna show you guys a very simple uh, setup with uh, Trader Workstation and give you guys some insight on how I trade options and create a watch list for options and so on and so forth. So um, just looking at the windows really quick, you're gonna see that this is our order entry screen. You know, this is, uh, this is where you're gonna type in your symbol and pull up options and get an options chain. Um, typically I'm not uh, picking the options out of the options chain from this window. What I like to do is I like to take the monitor tab and I actually have it in a separate window on my uh, setup here and create a, a watch list. And what I do is I go and I just kind of pick a spot on the ledger, type in the, the stock and get the symbol, find options. And I like to do my chain um, from here, from the watch list, simply because if you're a uh, you know you're a trader and you have multiple monitors if you were to do it from the order entry screen you're gonna notice that as soon as you get your options chain up here if you want to click somewhere else and look at a chart or maybe you click on one of your other monitors it's going to uh, it's going to take your options chain away and uh, so I have thinkorswim up I've got a couple different um, browsers and I have trade ideas up so you know that could uh, that could be really annoying. So the way that I get around is I I take that uh, the monitor tab and uh, and use this as my my watch list tab and I, I put all of my stocks here and then I kind of go from there and when I click on this you're gonna see that this will change. Let me get this to change. And the way that you get it to change is you want to make sure that up here that you have your um, linked color group and right now I have that set up so it's green and this is green so if I click on something here it's going to change it in this window alright so I'm gonna pull this off to the side and you can see here I've got um, April 20 calls on X and you've got the bid and ask spread I've got my hourly chart here my activity window this is where you're gonna see live um, orders and completed orders I've got level two data over here, and then I have um, time and sales. So you can see actual trades that went through, and you know whether they were um, you know bought at the uh, at the at the bid or at the ask. You know how many contracts were sold, and you can kind of scroll down and see all the activity for the day, starting at 9:30 for this particular options contract. So you can look at time and sales. Obviously, you can also look at you know, an hourly chart. Here's an hourly chart of of the activity um, for X. And uh, to place a trade, we're going to set a buy, and we're going to hit submit. I just have one contract. When I click bid, it's going to put the limit order right in here. I'm going to hit submit, and you can see it down here. So once you have it go to this order window, your options trade has been placed. It's in the system, and now if you want to get filled somewhere between um, 345 and 355 what you're going to do is select midpoint and it's going to do that right for you so I'm going to hit midpoint and I'm going to go to update which is all the way over here and now we've got our limit order at 350 and again you guys can um, can play with these windows, adjust them how you want. There's no, there's no right or wrong way. Okay, the order just got filled. So what I was going to show you guys is that you can adjust these windows and make them longer. You don't necessarily need level two to, uh, to be that big. So you might find that, you know, having this a little bit wider makes more sense, so that you can get down to the, uh, the update part. But there you go. So now we have an order filled, and if we jump over to portfolio, I'm going to drag this back in here. You can see now um, I've got some shares of X, but I also have a call of X as well. So this has just got filled, and obviously down a couple bucks right away. But uh, you know the the bid and ask is nice and tight, and 
you know that's that's essentially in a nutshell how you would place an option um, trade with interactive brokers you know this is simulated trading account but it works the same way as a you know a live trading account so everything's going to be identical I do have a live trading account with interactive brokers I'm a huge fan we've been using it since uh, 2016 early 2016 and uh, it's just a really powerful um, clean um, brokerage account you know and the software is fantastic really simple to use and you can configure it, it can be as simple or as difficult as you want to make it um, so I'm going to drag this off to the side here one other thing I want to show you guys is uh, you can go over here to new window and there's all these different options I'm going to go down to technical analytics and go to option analysis and this is something you want to do um, maybe try out for yourself and use prior to purchasing an option um, I wanted to show you guys a simple way to do it first um, but this is really a great thing to do you can go to options Str uh, strategy lab and when you click that you're going to get this window and this is a strategy scanner so this is a really powerful tool so you, you would want to put in your stock symbol which we're looking at X and then you would want to look at you know you basically want to have your strategy for what you think X is going to do so if you think this particular stock is going to go up by a certain date you know you've charted your stock like I've charted X you know currently I believe X is going to go up so I'm going to pick um, April or May calls let's just do May for right now and you know X right now is uh, is trading what is X trading at well this will put in the percentage here X is about 43 bucks so let's just say we think X is going to go up um, I actually think X is going to go up at least 10 percent by May so I'm going to put in 10 percent by May and I'm going to click done, uh, done you can actually go down here and and you know filter some more uh, premium and you can go you want a credit spread only or do you want a debit spread only um, if you guys haven't learned what credit spreads or debit spreads is you, you guys can check out some of our other options videos that will talk a little bit about this but um, I'm just gonna do any for this one and I'm gonna click done okay and let me expand the screen so at the top you're instantly going to get um, all the different types of strategies of spreads that you can trade on um, on this particular stock at the very top you're also going to get your um, order entry screen where it will order all of these in and calculate the credit or the debit you're also going to get a uh, price target screen so this is essentially taking a chart and figuring out where you think X is going to move you know you know we put in that we thought X was going to move 10 percent by this date here so it finds kind of the um, you know basically the range and it calculates the range for you and then it you know gives you a bunch of different options which I'm going to expand in a minute and then this is a this is very similar to thinkorswim where it has like a strategy performance comparison so it takes all the different strategies that interactive brokers is suggesting to you and plots them as a uh, as a data point as a line on your chart um, so that's you know th this is just kind of a comparison chart for the different strategies and and likelihoods and profit and loss and so on and so forth um, this one will pull up the individual one that's highlighted and uh, and kind of plot that similar to the one here on the left but uh, I'm gonna jump into it and open this up I'm gonna click maximize so you guys can see the um, the strategies here so I'm gonna expand some of these columns a little bit so you can get an idea so these are the different um, the different you know spreads that you have. You've got a short put, uh, bull call, bull put, bull call, bull put, and um, you know the expected profit depending on the the strategy that's being picked. And let me just expand these other windows for you. It'll show you the price, the probability for the trade. So that's going to be really important depending on you know your metrics you know for what you think the stocks going to do this is going to give you some additional probability and then you can compare the max return um, 
you know, some of these have a, a really good chance here. So if the stock does does move in the direction that we're going to, you know, these are the uh, these are the maximum return profits or the return on investment there. And then again, you have a maximum loss. So you can kind of figure out the the differences for these uh, different strategies and they all depend on your buying power. I mean, you're not going to be able to uh, to buy some of these. Some of these are um, going to be way too much margin for you. I mean, look at this one with uh, the maximum loss, and you know it's um, there's going to be ones that you're not going to trade at all, and you're going to want to know, you know, what is the difference between a, a bull call and a bull put, um, and uh, you know how does that how does that play out so make sure you study that I'm not going to get into all that in this video but I wanted to show you guys um, this strategy scanner which is is going to be really cool so for for a more experienced um, you know options trader who's uh, who's looking to have fixed risk you know and have a you know a fixed amount of okay what is the max loss what is my max gain um, you're going to want to use this strategy scanner. It's going to be super helpful. I mean, I know a lot of people calculate it, you know, in their heads on their own, but it's it's really cool to to get familiar with these tools and uh, and take advantage of them. So let's put that back over there, and then let's expand this one. This is the um, order entry window for you know this particular um, one that's been highlighted. And we're going to minimize that, and just just to give you guys an idea of the different windows that are here, um, I had drawn. Actually, this is a, a trend line I had drawn on the chart earlier, but essentially, you know, this is plotting the move between today and the expiration date, and then calculating. Okay, so this is 10% move to the to the upside from where we are today, and then you know. Interactive Brokers is, is calculating the range and, and, and the profits from the other windows here, from the top window that gives you all your strategies and kind of, you know, uh, plots it with this kind of, uh, this graph here. So it's very useful and I uh, wanted to show you guys that, um, you know, play around with it as always. You want to paper trade these first and see how they work out. Um, Interactive Brokers is a great platform for paper trading. Um, but essentially, you know, practice, practice makes perfect. And uh, I'm going to pull this off to the side. That's really it in a nutshell. So if you guys have any questions, you want to learn more about us, you can always shoot us an email. Um, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the community. Thanks.